I would definitely say this is not going well. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to transform your passion into your career. Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about watercolors, a medium that typically has not been a friend of mine, but I'm trying to change that. We started off, I think, on bad terms. But as I've grown up and see like the actual process, uh, it just feels like such a refreshing medium that I want to give a little bit more time. So yes, uh, I want to talk about the supplies that I'm using. As you guys know, I use the Stillman and Burn Zeta Series Mixed Media Sketchbook. That is what we're using today. I've got some colored pencils and pencils in here. I don't think I'm going to be using that. Um, but this is the exciting stuff. I've got two little brushes here. They're both just pretty standard round brushes. All I really need is like an average round brush like this and you're all kind of just set. But this is the exciting part. So let me just show you guys, this is crazy. So when I was trying to figure out what watercolor paints would be best for me, I reached out to a friend of mine who you might know here on YouTube as Pear Fleur or Iwa. She is Amazing, so sweet and so generous. She offered to make me a little palette to get me started with watercolors and I've used it a couple of times already and I absolutely love it. Um, I believe these were all tubed watercolors that she then put together as one cohesive palette. It looks like this. Um, and it is probably my favorite art supply that I now own because it just has such a cute story behind it now. So. Thank you again, Iwa, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. And I've been having so much fun with it so far. So yes, more good things to come. But um, now, if we're gonna be honest, I am not quite sure yet what I want to paint today. So we gotta figure that out. All right, I do think I found some good stuff that I wanna use. It is this photograph from Negative Dot Headspace. I think it'll be an interesting challenge to try and do this with watercolor because we have some complementary colors right next to each other. That's something that I think can be a little bit tricky to do with watercolor, so we'll see how that goes. Um, let's try it out. Okay, I don't know why I started with this reference photo because it is like, <laughs> this is where I really struggle with this medium. I kind of want to barf all over this drawing right now, but we're going to work through it and hopefully watercolor is going to be all right. I think maybe I could save it with <laughs> maybe one other layer of like a darker tone. Um, okay, wait, here. Some of this up here I'm not mad about where I kind of let the paint do its own thing. But this, I mean, this is a monstrosity. Ah! All right, so that only got worse. 
but I think I needed that. I think I needed to be humbled. This is a medium that I want to get good at and struggling is okay. Am I mad about it? Yes, a little bit. Definitely frustrated, but I think I needed a little bit of grit. I didn't expect this to be easy. Next one will be better. This next reference photo is actually way more in my comfort zone. It is a portrait. The last one was way out of my comfort zone, so I think we're in a good spot. I'm actually kind of excited about this, so let's do it. <laughs> So I did just have a bit of a moment. Uh, Hooray, yay! Yeah, what happened? Didn't go so great. Really thought that one was gonna be a winner, so. <laughs> I would definitely say this is not going well. Um, I think I need to think a little more simple. I think I need to ease into this. So next up, I'm gonna try and do a rubber ducky. All right, if I can't handle this, I don't know. I don't know what's next, guys. Today's just not my day. Today's just not my day. All right, a rubber ducky. All right, good sketch. Turned out freaking phenomenal. Can I handle the watercolor part? Let's find out. I'm gonna start with a base of yellow, as anybody would. Great, fantastic, that looks Amazing. I'm gonna attempt shadow. Let's do it. Oh no. Okay, that looks really good. Dare I say this is turning out better than I expected. This bill is gonna be a challenge. <coughs> Solid performance, I think. Yeah, that was really good. The eyeball. Wow, maybe a little shadow. Don't get too ambitious. You know what? I think we might have just scored big time. Okay, I was trying to be funny about this, but I actually am having a bit of a problem right now. This is not going well. I am feeling like I suck. <laughs> Guys, I haven't had a day like this in a while. This sucks. This duck is staring into my soul right now. It's so ugly. I need a win, but I'm nervous to do this again. I want to create something beautiful today. I don't know what to do. Okay, my third and final idea is to draw some fruit. Inspired by real fruits, but not exactly real. So, for instance, a pear. The shape of a pear, but perhaps some colors that are a little bit prettier. Okay. All right, that was really cool. Hoping for the best, expecting the worst. We'll see what I can handle today. This pile of colorful crap has potential, but I I only see this potential with 
Colored pencils, which means I don't think this is gonna work. Are we getting warmer? Yeah, I think we are. After the other three being like really bad disasters, this is definitely a better fourth attempt. All right, I'm over it. We're trying this. That's not so bad. I'm not mad about that. Okay, those aren't bad either. Okay, yeah. Okay, not gonna lie, these little fruities felt like a little victory and I'm feeling a little bit better. However, I did it without watercolor, so I feel like I cheated. I don't know if I could do this for much longer. I feel like I've been at this all day and I don't wanna put myself through this if I'm just gonna be frustrated, so I don't know. Are we done? Uh, I think we're done for today, guys. This was not fun. Bummer. Again, I don't know what happened. Today just wasn't my day. And public service announcement, not every day is gonna be a victory. It's okay to fail sometimes and be all right with coming back stronger the next day. You live and you learn. I think lessons of the day, number one, I think patience is a virtue and it was something I lacked today. Maybe there will be another day where we do this together. Failure is okay. And I'm not gonna beat myself up. All right, so I believe that is going to wrap up our painting for today. But before we go, I wanna say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, me and Squarespace are pretty good friends at this point. I've been using them for over a year and a half for both my online store and my portfolio. If you are a new artist looking to break into the industry, whether it's selling your art online, booking some clients, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to get all of those things done and launch your career. When it comes to your online store, the branding and customization options are limitless. You could have something sleek, simple, and clean, or you could have something colorful, crazy, and in your face, the options seriously are endless. And you're not limited in what you can sell. Whether it's a physical product, a digital file, or a service, for those of you that love to do commissions, all of that is possible all in one place with Squarespace. And with Squarespace automatically tracking your inventory and sales data, running an online store has never been easier. What are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Sorgi and Squarespace will give you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And again, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, a day has passed, same shirt, but I've had some time to look back on the footage and reflect a little bit. And honestly, I'm not as discouraged as I was yesterday. I honestly think I was losing my patience a little bit too quickly because I wanted it to be good for you guys. And I feel like I saw the other mistakes I did wrong in terms of how I was using the water and the pigment and the paint itself. So I'm excited to try again next time. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I needed. You know, obviously, Obviously in terms of art, this was not a very impressive thing to watch. The goal of this was to show you that starting something new and trying something out that is out of your comfort zone is not always easy and to get good at something it takes some grit, some time, and some patience. So good luck to y'all. I know there's something you're definitely trying to improve in somewhere in the art world. So good luck to you. We're in this together and yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Hope you enjoyed and um, Peace love, brother.